good morning from Disney Springs. We're here today because there is a new pop-up that is opening by the NBA experience, possibly inside of the NBA experience. We don't know until we get there, <laughs> but it is for pleasing. If you're not familiar with pleasing, it is Harry Styles nail polish brand. So he's doing a collab with Disney, which is pretty exciting. He's going to have colors like inspired by Fantasia. And I think there's three different sets, yeah. but there's also like a ton of merch. And I really, I wore all my Harry merch today. I got my shirt. I got my Harry is my friend hat. You're wearing your shirt. Love on tour. We're ready. We're ready to go. Yeah, <laughs> let's do it. So we're heading down towards the NBA experience. Also, look at this. Which one? Fall into magic at Disney Springs. It is now officially fall. Oh, they turned the fountain back up. Remember when it was so low the other day? Oh, when we came for our uh, our date to watch Agatha all along. Yeah. Yeah, and then also during the Fall into Magic like event at Disney Springs, they have different food items at different restaurants, and I think they also have some little photo ops. So maybe we'll see some of that along our way today. So we've made it down here to Characters of Flight. We parked in the Orange Garage and just walked straight back, passed them by the Starbucks, headed down just past Splitsville, past the M&M store, to what used to be the NBA experience. But before that, before it was the NBA experience, it was Disney Quest. I'm gonna link a, a couple of Disney Quest videos down below. I was feeling nostalgic for Disney Quest the other day and uh, I watched a couple of our videos. Why did they get rid of it? It was old. I just really had so much fun there. Yeah, we always we're had old. <laughs> we always had such a good time when we went there. They should bring it back. I'm gonna start a petition. They really should, like with newer stuff, Fortnite. No, old stuff, you know, old stuff's coming back. Old stuff and new stuff, gotta draw on the younger crowd. <laughs> Fortnite, you can, like, now, you can now be the characters from the Incredibles in Fortnite. But you play it, you play Fortnite like on an Atari or something. Yeah, with VR, but yeah. the VR headsets like, comes out this far on your head. <laughs> All right, just past the M&M store, you can see there's a line out front, people waiting to get in. Kinda looks like the line might loop around behind the building too. Pretty big line, people excited to get in there. Oh yeah, look at this big group of people back here. Exciting stuff, and here it is. Fantasia and pleasing, keyholes heading in. All right, we're gonna go inside and have a look. <laughs> thank you. Wow, thank you. Of course. Oh. It's so nice. Here's a look at some of the the merch right now. They've got all kinds of what stuff over see? here. I didn't think it was, I thought it was gonna just be, I didn't think it was gonna be this much stuff. Right? Where? Do you see Twinkle Twinkle? We've got closeness, bright and hot, and roulettes and a nail bomb big lip and they have all the prices listed here with them solar dew mineral serum a lot of stuff going on so this is all of the i think this is i do like this one that's pretty fun oh yeah there's like a little mirror here people have been taking selfies in it people are bending down and taking this photo so we've got this sweatshirt for 105. Let's see if I can show you guys the little arm thing here. This one's 85. Hippos and alligators for dance of the hours concert feature. For $30, you can get some socks. There's a towel down here that I don't, I'm not gonna unroll one. Hopefully they'll have one on display somewhere that I can see. They have a different sock over here too. Sorcerer Mickey. I need some more. 185 for this one. 185 for this one as well. This bag, I do like this bag, it's cool looking. 225 and they do have two different colors. They've got blue and red. With this towel with the hippo on it for 85. It's really big and it feels really nice too. A super soft towel. This would be a great like beach towel or if you just like a big towel coming out of the shower. I like this one a lot for 105. This one's cool. Looks very vintage. Walt Disney's Fantasia. This one also 105. They're also super like thick and nice feeling. They have a, a, a sweatshirt from Coach that feels has this exact same feel to it. 70 for this shirt. Then there's a long sleeve shirt for 85. It's like a pocket shirt. Sorcerer's Apprentice. Yeah, I like that. That's cool looking. Do 
you think y'all will restock a lot over like the month? And then they also have the Pegasus socks, the 30. The, this towel is also the Pegasus print, I believe. I don't know what that one is. I've already unrolled one towel. I don't think I should unroll another one. This sweatshirt also has matching sweatpants too. For 135 for the pants. So the no. nail polish sets are 65 and then the individual nail polish colors are 18 and these are just the regular pleasing colors down here. I haven't found the uh, the Fantasia collab yet. So we're also heading into just the regular pleasing line. So not only do they have this over here is all the Fantasia line and then we get into the regular just the pleasing line. This Harry Styles is pleasing line over here and these are 105. I like this shirt too. This is fun. Then they have some ribbed tank tops as well for 65. Scrunchies and socks. This is 235. How much is this one? 225. There's this photo op right here too with lots of old TVs. They also have some of these buttons up button ups right here. As well as the sweatshirt. We went into a side room and they're playing Fantasia in here. It's just a little side room. There's a movie on each side. One over there. Or no, is that is that a changing room? I think that's a fitting room over there. And we wanted to show you guys what we got from the pleasing Disney pop-up. We're wearing some of it right now. It's true. Tim has on the Fantasia sweatshirt. This one did have matching sweatpants as well, but he just got the sweatshirt. Look at that. Very fashion forward. I like the bright color. I like the, uh, oh yeah, look at that. This is the exact same thing as the stickers that you and Jackson were wearing. Oh, that's true. I like it has like a retro look. Very cool. It's also a very nice quality. Like Yeah, they're so like thick. They feel good. Good quality. I've said this to a few other people and we have a few pieces from Coach, like sweatshirts, and this feels similar quality. Yeah, Excuse just the, like, like thick. pieces from Coach. Also, the inside of the sweatshirts feels more like a fleece sweatshirt, like super soft, super smooth. Yeah, very soft. We also got some of the nail polish like sets here, but Jackson picked this one out. So this set had this pink, this one's syrup berry. This one here was called Pea in the Punch, so it's almost like a very super light, like limey color. This one was pine chrome more of a light kind of blue, there we go. <laughs> I think this is maybe a bottom coat because it's called Bottoms Up, but it's a got a, a purple hue to it. I just, I love these bottles. I love the lid. I think the lid is so cool. I think these would be nice to just display. They're just so beautiful. This one we definitely know the name of. It's <laughs> called Astro Milk. I just love these colors. Ooh. They're like the more neutral kind of muted colors. But this one has cow jumped over the moon. This one is space pink. You can see underneath, they did oh. come with stickers too. This one is milkman's cheeks and hot sorbet. And it, these are more rubber feeling on the top, but they just look so cool. And like Tim said, I love this look. Each set came with a set of stickers, like little nail decals. This one I love, I, like little, little planets, rocket ships, you know, stars, moons aliens. I think this is so cool. What a, a cool idea. Oh yeah, the cow jumping over the moon. Oh, I thought it like cow abductions. Oh, or that. In the ad for this Astro Milk set, it was um, actually really cool. It was very creative. All of the cows that were being abducted were turned into nail polish, like bottles. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it was cool. Now we know the backstory. It's true. That's where the nail polish comes from, if you ever wondered. Yeah, abducted cows. <laughs> I want to show you the nail decals that were in the other set because these were so pretty. But it has like little cakes and hearts and bows and poodles and flowers, eyeballs, letters. I thought that was cool. Capital hot pink letters. So I just love that. I think that's so neat. And we got one like single nail polish. This one is called The Whole Duniverse. Jackson really liked this one, but it has like little sparkles, little like almost like a duochrome, like pink, orange kind of flex in there. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. And then I love that it has like the marble, 
like it's like the marble look top on it. The last thing we got were the fragrances, the pleasing fragrances. Mm. So we got little mini versions in like little mini sprays of his scents. This one is called Closeness. It smells like I'm close to Harry Styles. It kind of smells, it does give kind of almost like a more masculine scent. This one's called Bright Hot. Oh, I like this one. It reminds me of a scent from when I was a kid that the Gap used to sell. Yeah. It's kind of like floral. It smells like the mall a little bit. Yeah, I don't know. It, remi it, does, it reminds me of the Gap a little bit. Um, from the 90s, though. This one's called Rivulet. Oh, this one's a little spicy. I don't know what that means when you're smelling stuff. You don't smell how it kind of smells spicy? No. Really? Yeah. I got a bad oh. sniffer, though. So. <laughs> I like them all. But I think I like my favorite is the Bright Hot, and then I think I like this one next. Mmm. This is like, it smells like it could be good for fall. So, so there you go. Oh, and almost forgot the last thing. Oh, we also got the tote. This is cool because it's got like sketches from Fantasia all around it. It's got an outside pocket. Look at Mickey being like, what's happening? <laughs> oh yeah, there's an outside pocket and a pocket inside as well. It says pleasing. Oh yeah, look at that. But this I just thought was really cool, really fun. Fun and fresh. All right, so that's our haul. Yeah, it was cool. I like that store a lot. I want to go back on another day too because the day that we went was opening day, so it was a little bit wild in there, a little chaotic yeah. in a fun way. But I want to go back and, and spend a little bit more time in there with maybe less people inside the store and be able to really, really get a super good look at everything. Because when you were looking at everything, I had both kids. Right. So I didn't, that's why you didn't see me when he was looking all around the store, because I had Jackson and Oliver, and Jackson was so excited about everything. He just really wanted to like touch everything. So I was over there with them, and then you were looking at everything. But it was, I had a really good time. It was really cool. Yeah. It was definitely an experience, and it was an experience that I was happy to have. Yeah. So we hope you enjoyed the haul, and next we're headed over to Boathouse for lunch. After the pleasing pop-up, we decided to go get some lunch. We're headed to Chef Art Smith's. Should be pretty good. I'm excited for it. It's been a while since we've been here. I want the fried green tomatoes. They're so good. So we checked in at Homecoming. Turned out it was an hour-long wait. So I looked on the app real quick, saw there was a reservation for Boathouse. So we're headed over to Boathouse. All right, heading into Boathouse. I don't know if they have any space available for us, buddy. Let's eat lunch first, okay? Thank you. We get to get in the boat, buddy. You excited? Whoa! Look at that. Holy macaroni, look at us. We're in a boat. So we are here for brunch too. We didn't order from the brunch menu. I gotta say, I don't I don't love the stuff on their brunch menu. Um, I do love the stuff on their regular menu though. So we ordered some just regular stuff, but we do have the dueling, dueling pianos. pianos They're over serenading there. us. Quick, name that tune. Werewolves of London. Is it? I don't, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's good. <laughs> but yeah, so we're here in the boat. We're in the boat. We're in a Chris Crab. I don't think we've ever gotten to sit in the boat before. Is this no. our first time? Yeah. I think this is our first time. Yeah. Today is like been the best day of my life. Yeah? Honestly. Of your life? I mean, I got to go to the The birth of your children? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Our okay. wedding day? This is like, it's, it's in the top 10 best okay. days of my life. All right. I got to go to the pleasing pop-up. I got to get so many fun things. I got to like be in there with other Harry fans, which was amazing. I got to you finally probably wear this like, hat. probably like say other Harry Styles fans. Oh, other I don't Harry. think they're very hairy. They know what I mean. Yeah. But they, I guess you're right though. Um, it's okay if you're hairy. Yeah. yeah you hairy, know. hairy fan. <laughs> but it was so cool. I loved it so much. Everybody was so nice. I just feel like Harry Styles fans are so just like nice and cool and fun and fresh and just like yeah. we were all vibing. Hip. It was amazing. Slaying as they walked through the we, door. We all slayed. It was great. I can't wait to use all the nail polish. We got some perfume. I can't wait to wear my sweatshirt, even though it's 90 degrees outside. I'm gonna find a way to wear it. Yeah. Maybe I'll wear it in New York. Maybe, yeah, but, you could. Uh, Wait, Oliver's been putting together this, he calls this his puzzle, and look, it's so long that it's like, it's falling on the ground. He loves these. If you there. ever, if you ever, see, I think we got these in the Target dollar They're in like the, yeah, the dollar section. Yeah. But he absolutely, this will keep his attention for like hours. Maybe not hours, but. Look at, see, now it's uh -oh. just going off uh -oh. the edge. I might have oh, it's to. it's already fallen. 
I might have to yeah, break start it, it up over here. again. He's just making a trade. Yeah. We ordered the wedge salad and they actually split it for us. It's got some blue cheese on it, got some dressing, got some bacon, uh, iceberg wedge, and then some tomatoes. Uh oh. Oliver's <laughs> getting into the tomatoes already. You wanna take a bite? He says, nope. We're playing down in New Orleans from Princess and the Frog. Jackson got some chicken tenders, and then Oliver got the salmon. I cut it in half for him already, so there's a look at the other half. It's actually a really nice piece of salmon. And some watermelon. He loves watermelon. I got the Yacht Club. Look at this, some turkey, bacon, cheese, Thousand Island dressing in there. He's a pickle, some chips. Also, it's pouring outside. I didn't show you guys because they, they pulled the like shades down. It was raining sideways. It was really um, a pretty like severe thunderstorm out there. So I think this is just, you know, the season. We're getting rainy weather. Just be ready for it. Are we ready? No, we didn't bring anything with us. So <laughs> we should take our own advice. But uh, I'm happy to be inside, that's for sure. What do you think? Yeah, do you like your watermelon? Yeah? Watermelon! Yay! <laughs> Watermelon! Yay! <laughs> Woohoo! Jackson got some uh, chicken tenders. They look great, honestly. How was your salmon? Did you like your fish? Yeah, you did? Yeah, it was so yummy. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed it, babe. What do you want the piano guys to play, what Oliver? What do you want them to play? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You hear yeah, him? Yeah, He's yeah. asking for EIEIO, which is Old McDonald. And I yeah. wonder if they take requests. Do you think I can ask him to play Old McDonald? The Amphicars. We've done this a few times. We'll put a link in the description down below to a couple of times that we've done it. It's a fun time. And of course, Boathouse, delicious as always. So, so good. One thing, it's starting to rain again. One thing that I forgot to mention when we were at the Pleasing Pop-Up is that it is running from today until October 27th. So. Got plenty of time to come and visit it. There it is. Disney Springs' namesake. The spring. Right there. Wow. You know it's fake, right? We're headed to Sephora real quick. Just to pick up a quick one little thing. Yeah, you need to get your moisturizer. I need some moisturizer for my face. All right, so we are making our way back home. It started raining. Just trying to get out of the rain. Yeah, it was a good time. I really enjoyed the pleasing pop-up. I'm glad we got to eat at Boathouse. We got to sit in a boat. I've never sat in a boat before. That was like uh, top 10 things. I've never been able to do that. That was so cool. So on our way back home. All right, it's a couple days later and we are back at Disney Springs. We're back, baby. We're here because we're gonna go make some candles because down at Bose Candles, they have an offering where you can make your own candle and they invited us out to experience it. So we're gonna head over there right now and see what it's all about. So they do have lots of uh, options for scents, for bottom notes, middle notes, top notes, which they're gonna walk us through the whole process and we'll show you that. So here we are right next to Salt and Straw in the AMC Theater, right across the way from Summer House on the Lake. We're heading into Bo's Signature Candles. Look at this, candle making, make your own candle, $30 per candle, customize your own fragrance and color. No reservations needed. I feel like the boat, the candle thing is actually a pretty good deal. Right. Because I think I've paid more for a Yankee candle. Right. And I didn't even get to make that. Yeah. And we've made our way inside. It's just looking around at their permanent collection on the outside walls. And then they have a little display here for their fall collection, as well as some limited time scents too, such as Horror Spice, R.I.P., Boo, Trick or Treat, Oh, and spooky the lights down here. I like that you can come in here and you can totally buy just a haunted candle. Who doesn't need a haunted candle? They also have other selections of fall items and this is from their permanent collection. So you can come in here at any point and get say apple cinnamon. And then they also have Christmas stuff. You get prepared ahead of time. Get your Christmas cabin smell going. They also have these specific candles with black labels that are theme park inspired. So you might smell some familiar smells if you pick up one of these ones with the black labels on it. Hmm, fresh grass, eh? Now it's time to make some candles. We've got colors, we've got sparkles and some different scents. Oh no, chocolate chip cookies? Oh man, I'm just gonna make all chocolate chip cookies candles. They've given us the candle making menu. You can see some of the different scents that they currently have right now. So you've got all these scents that you can choose from and you choose six to smell and then you do three scents. You can do up to three scents in your candle. 
So I feel like I'm not very good at the smells of things, but I know the tastes of things. I know that gardenia smells good. I know that lemon and mango and orange and pineapple smell good. I just don't know how gardenia would go with those other like fruity flavors. I'm sure that gardenia could go with like roses and vanilla. Hmm. Maybe even cedarwood and gardenia. It'd be like out in the out in the woods. All right. So those are the three that I've picked out so far. These are the three. Oh, okay. And then I'm gonna smell those. Yeah, smell those three together, and then pick three more. Mmm. Okay. So that was magnolia. This is gardenia. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. I feel like this is gonna smell a little manly, but also like a little floral, which might be a fun. Oh, is that a bad description? No, it was just funny because I'm thinking he picked it. Yeah. <laughs> it does. Well, like the cedar wood kind of has like a more masculine scent, I feel like. So I'm excited to smell it with the floral. I think, and then he, he wanted me to add another one, like of my choosing, but I don't know what would go with it. I'm, I feel like I'm not going to be good at this. Because I'm more of like a citrus person, but I don't know if citrus would go with that. Would that be weird? That might be weird. Oh, with the sugar. Okay. Mm, okay. Do you want to add this to it? Sure. It's, it's like yeah, a little yeah. sweet. Yeah. It's just sugar. Yeah. Makes sense. It's sweet. Yeah. So everybody yeah. has their scents picked out. We have our scents picked out. Yeah. So I'm going to be putting all of my scents in this um, little glass all the way up to the ounce line. But that's got to be all of my senses. All of my scents. So what if I just do like a quarter of each? Make it easy. Ooh, I just heard somebody's gonna do a dash. <laughs> I love this. All right, so this one. Okay, I'm all up to the ounce line. I'm feeling like a, a mad scientist that smells good. All right, do you wanna see what it smells like? Oh yeah, I do. I was just gonna smell it, but we have a special way to smell it. All right. Do I wanna smell it? Oh yeah, that's pretty fun. I think you did great. You picked some, Tim picked some good scents. I was okay. kind of nervous. I was nervous too. <laughs> not like, not that I don't trust you. I don't trust me. I don't got a good sniffer. I don't got a good sniffer. <laughs> I think that's going to smell really good. You want to smell? You want to smell it? No. Okay. Okay. I love it. Oh. Upside down. There's a caution label. It goes right on the bottom. Make sure that you're safe with your candle. And there's black dots inside. And you stick this on the black dot. Then repeat. So they gave us a, a another glass container to test out our drawings on. And then add a little bit of grass in there. That's what this is. But now I have to actually draw this on the actual candle. They do also give examples of things you could do. If you're making a Christmas candle, if you're making a Halloween candle, spooky candle or celebration candle. I'm just gonna pretend like one of my kids did this one. People are gonna be amazed. Feeling pretty good about this pumpkin so far. What color do you want? What color, blue? Yeah? Okay. You ready? All right, you, right here. Good job, buddy, good job. You're doing good. You're drawing on the on the label. You want to draw on the side? Up top. Yeah, there you go. You want to do pink? Yeah, go ahead. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Good job. Which color? Red or pink? Pink. Pink? All right, do you want to color on it? Right here. There you go. All right, we got a pumpkin. We got a creation from Oliver. And then I got a little flower right there. All right, so they gave me a popsicle stick. And I have to put the wicks up through the popsicle stick. All right, I'm, I'm tapping in. Do you guys have purple? Maybe a light purple. Okay, so I picked like a light purple because Jackson's favorite color is purple. And he, he wasn't here today to join in the candle making fun. So when he gets home and sees a purple candle, I think he'll be excited. Okay, pouring my wax in my, here, my cup. And then we're gonna be adding in our color. I picked purple. Okay, let's see, let me get you in a good spot here. 
you know, for you, definitely get a good scoop. Do you think, is this too much? I think that's a good start. So I did a little drip on the table, which is what they told me to do. And this kind of shows you what the color of the candle is actually gonna be like when it dries. It looks super dark in my cup here, but it's really gonna dry to this color, which it's a little bit more purple in person, but I think Jackson's gonna love it. All right, you're gonna mix this in really good, okay? Okay, ooh, so I picked the, what was this one called? This The black silver? This is silver gray. Silver gray shimmer. Okay, let's get it. Ooh, let's get that in there. Okay, look at the shimmer. That looks so cool. Jackson is going to love this candle. We'll have to come back with Jackson because I think he would love this. Okay, now I add my oil, oil in. Into your wax. Just all at once? Yeah, all at once. Ooh, 20 to 30 <laughs> seconds. Mix it up. Oh, it smells so good. Okay, let's see it going in. Ooh, oh, I'm making a candle. Look at this. Oh, wow. Look at that. So much fun. Amazing. Oh, my goodness. Do I want to put glitter on top? I think yes. Right? There are so many choices here. We could do silver or gold, or silver and gold, or rainbow. Okay, I'm going to do gold. Jackson's favorite colors are pink and purple and golden, but he'll throw rainbow in there every once in a while. So, give a little tap, tap, tap in there. Try to spread them out evenly. Oh no, that wasn't evenly. Oh brother, don't mind me. I was born for candle making. Oh no, I'm, I think that's fine. All right, perfect. We'll go with that. He's banned. He's banned. I'm banned, banned from the glitter. We did it. We're candle makers. But we have to wait 45 minutes for them to be finished. Ta-da! One last look at it. I think it has character. Probably when you burn the candle, they will then begin to move. And we figured since we're here, might as well pop right across the way to Summer House on the Lake for lunch. Oh, I don't have a microphone on. Oh, I'm, <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> Do you guys know that we just came here not too long ago, but I think I'm going to try the Buena Vista Cobb. Trying for something a little bit lighter here. They also have some seasonal features here. Butternut squash bisque, broccoli and roasted garlic pizza, braised beef short rib. Oh, that sounds so good. And they have a seasonal cocktail, the Irish Hello. And of course, we had to start out with the potato salad deviled eggs. It's like a deviled egg with potato salad inside of it. Microgreens, some capers, spices on the top, and some chives. Delicious. This is what I got. I got the Buena Vista Cobb. Are you guys ready for the for the drizzle on top? It actually looks so good. Ooh, What's the dressing? Uh, it is a herb vinaigrette. Ooh. See, we've got uh, avocado, egg, corn, cucumber, tomato, bacon, blue cheese, and an herb vinaigrette. You got the ahi, tuna, and watermelon tostadas, Haas avocado, Thai chili, and crisp corn tortilla. Now that we're done with lunch, we head straight over to Bo's Candles and have a look. Look at that, there it is. There is our candle that we made. There it is, there's my candle. Look at that, they're gonna box it up for us right now. So we are back home after our time at Disney Springs. So we made the candle. We yeah. did bring it home. Jackson loved it. He loved that it was like glittery and purple. And uh, I have to say, the glitter was like a fun surprise. Yeah. So when you light the, when you look at the candle, it doesn't look shimmery. But when you light it, that's when like the glitter starts to appear. So that was pretty cool. It starts but to really move. It also is so fragrant. Really is. Like we have it burning in the kitchen. You could smell it in our house upstairs. You could smell it upstairs. Right. I was so shocked. But I do have to say, it's not an overpowering smell. No, like, but like you're it, getting your money's worth. Yeah. Like your candle's like... really candling, you know? <laughs> and so I think this is like a fun activity. I want to go back with one of my friends and like yeah. do like a fun little girl's, girl's day. night. No, I just think it would be fun to like go make a candle and while you're waiting, maybe go over and get like a drink or an appetizer somewhere. Eat some go weird see... ice cream. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so we didn't we didn't show this in this video, but next door, they're next to Salt and Straw for October for like Spooky Month. They have ice cream with bugs in it. Ooh. I'm so sad that we didn't eat ice cream yesterday. <laughs> so we're gonna we'll be back for that. Why is it a reoccurring theme in my life that I'm eating bugs? I just no, I don't eat enough. Just, just, I gotta eat more, gotta bugs. Eat more bugs, I guess. <laughs> but I want to go back and check that out. Have you had the bug ice cream? Let us know. Is it good? Bad? I want to try it. Does it taste nutty? I bet it does. Yeah, that's pretty common. So the other thing that was really cool about this whole experience is that we got to talk to the owner, Dave Bose. Yeah. He, like there's an actual Mr. Bose, like Bose Candle. And I didn't realize this, but there's a picture when you're looking around the candle shop. If you look up, like right in the back of the shop, there's this picture of his first candle shop. 
And uh, he was telling me the story about how he started at the flea market. And so there was a flea market here in uh, like the greater Orlando area. It's called Sanford. And it was called Flea World. That was the name of this flea market. Top notch name. It was honestly like part of both of our childhoods. Mm -hmm. You would go to Flea World every weekend. And then next to Flea World was Fun World. And that was kind of like a carnival almost. Yeah. They had like the Tilt-A-Whirl and like a little mini Ferris wheel. And they even had like a traveling circus that would come. You could like pet a lion. It was, I mean, that was like in the <laughs> 90s. The times have changed. But it closed. So they, they demolished that whole place. It's gone. You yeah. can't, you, it's literally like a field now. But he started at the flea market. I know. We literally went to the flea market every weekend. So we talked, I talked to uh, to Mr. Bose for like uh, over an hour yeah. about like the flea market <laughs> and how we used to go and get like nuts in bulk. We used to go and... You want to buy a sword? Flea market. It was such like a fever dream. Yeah. I got my, I got my tires at the flea market. I got my <laughs> windows tinted at the flea market. The, it was it was an amazing place and yeah. i'm sad that it's gone but that's where he started so the picture that we saw was his first location in the flea market and then um the next picture that we saw was his second location which was at artagon and that's no longer there what is it now that's deezerland oh that's where we went and saw the all pink car show yeah i don't know it was just very cool to talk to him about like how he came to be like how Bose candles came to be yeah. and how he literally started it like the flea market and now he's at disney springs right that's wild to me like right. follow your dreams he's at his second location in disney springs because he started in the co-op that's right and now he has the standalone building i think i had almost as much fun just talking to him yeah it was really good like he really had some great stories like if he's there when you're making your candles talk to him like he had it was just so he's so charismatic i had such a good time yeah he's it was it was great and i loved hearing about literally how he started from this very small shop to disney springs like and truly, online ordering and everything yeah and like follow your dreams i think that's the main point of this is like follow your dreams don't give up yeah you'll have a candle shop in disney springs one day too maybe <laughs> but yeah i don't know <laughs> it was great i loved that part of the day as well yeah really cool so if you're interested in checking out bose candles they are in disney springs mm -hmm. they're open with the hours of disney springs do a candle making class they said no reservations required yeah just go in and check it out they have multiple times you can do so if the first class is full you can try for the second one yeah. but i think it's such a cool souvenir and it's really like i don't know, i felt like the price was was pretty fair it was 30 bucks so I, check it out i'll be going back for sure we're gonna take jackson back i, I kind of want to see like what kind of unhinged candle scent would he come up with right because he, he doesn't know you licorice know I mean? licorice cedar wood it's like Sounds kind of good, cookies, actually. Cookies, like chocolate chip cookies and pineapple and rose. Oh, that sounds just not Right? Good. Do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I, I wonder what he would come up with. It might be perfect. You never know. So all in all, it was a fantastic few days. We wanted to say thank you to Bose Candles and Pleasing for having us out. With that being said, we are off. We'll see you all tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price. <laughs> <laughs>